I first started here um, three weeks before the Pittsburgh shooting. Um, and so my whole professional career um, here has been around um, security. Josh Gold is the executive director at a synagogue in Denver. He says the worship experience for many synagogues has changed over the years. Even when I first started here, like our doors were open on Saturday mornings for services, and they've been locked um, for the last two and a half, three years. While Gold says his house of worship has received some threatening phone calls and emails, he's grateful it was nothing major, like the plot on Temple Emanuel in Pueblo. Experts with the Anti-Defamation League say these incidents are on the rise. Our most recent survey in 2020, we had 60 incidents of anti-Jewish vandalism, harassment, and assault reported to our ADL office here in Colorado. And that was the second highest level in the last 10 years. Uh, just one incident less than the, the high of uh, 61 incidents in 2019. And Jewish communities aren't the only ones experiencing these attacks. The FBI reported a 6% rise in hate crimes last year. I think we've gotten to that point where this bigotry and hate manifesting itself in so many different ways has kept this constant baseline and has normalized our community's needs for security. Now state reps Simon Joda and Daphna Michael Sinjane are backing a bill that would start a state program allocating $1.5 million in grant money for Colorado nonprofits who may have missed out on federal grants. When the applications go through the federal process, perhaps they are getting funding first. This is allowing for all of those smaller nonprofits who were not able to make it through the federal funding round to be able to have access to the funding.